What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about Thursday flipping investments, where you guys can potentially look this week to make some profit on Thursday after awards. I've been kind of going back and forth between myself, whether or not I wanted to do Thursday flips this week. I've made the decision to do so, because if you look at that coin toll in the top left corner, I need to make coins, and if I don't buy anything, I will not be able to make coins, and that's the same mentality that you guys should have. Uh, I know last week we did Thursday flips and the market for, for most cards didn't really rise. It was a specific market, French players in particular, that went up last week. But I do think that people still need to play their games on Thursday. And what I will say is if you are buying anything with me on this video today, make sure you get up before 6 p.m. These Team of the Group Stage cards go out of packs on Thursday uh, at 6 p.m. UK time. Which leads me to believe that E is going to do something on Thursday. Because of all the potential content that they can have by Friday. Um, they're going to probably shift some of that content over the Thursday. That's what I think is going to happen. Kind of like what we saw on Black Friday. So we'll see how this goes. Um, this isn't like a 100% guarantee to go up by the way. If you are somebody that like doesn't want to take risks. Then I would just probably not do any of this stuff. But for me I have a lot of coins. I want to keep making coins. And if you don't buy anything, then your coins are not going to go up at all. So I'd rather at least try and see what happens and buy some really, really popular cards. And in the event that people are buying teams, buying stuff for, for Div Rivals, then we will see a market rise and make some good profit on that. So before we get into the video today, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. Let's say 100 likes. That would be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Turn the notification bell on as well. Get involved with us over on the Discord and the Twitch channel as well. All links will be in the description. Uh, so, so far, I've actually bought a few things off uh, of Thursday. I've got a couple Kamaras here. I've got a Goretzka. I've got an Ederson Team of the Week. I've obviously got some Team Week 10 investments. I got a Pogba here. Uh, these icons are I'm kind of flipping at the moment. Uh, and yeah, I have a Watkins here that I just got at 65. We'll talk about why I like some of those cards. Um, these are super popular cards. Now, my number, like one of my bigger ones that I'm going to talk about in this video is Joe Gomez. Uh, and the reason why I like Joe Gomez is because he actually had a really solid rise after Squad Battle Awards on Monday. Uh, if you take a look at Joe Gomez, let me pull up his graph for you guys. Um, this guy did pretty well. If you look at Monday uh, right here, right, he was relatively low on both Xbox and PS. And he went up 3k on, P on Xbox and he went up 5k on PS. Uh, he hit that 57.58 and earlier today he had 46.5 on Xbox. So right now on Xbox and PS, he's down a little bit because of UCL marquee matchups. Now, there's a couple different buy times in terms of meta gold cards. Uh, if you're looking at Gomez, Pogba, um, Martial, Griezmann, these kind of cards, Wijnaldum as well as somebody you can look at. Uh, for me, I'm probably looking in the low 50s. Uh, 52 and under would probably be my buy price. You can either buy ad rewards, you can buy... Uh, you know, before awards, if you want to wait for a potential loading screen tomorrow on the Wednesday, you can try that as well. Um, what I would say to you guys here is when you are buying gold cards and other specials in general that are out of packs, make sure you're getting them with shadows and hunters because they're going to be a little bit easier to lazy flip uh, these cards. Like I'll buy 52 with a shadow because that is the market that I'm going to hopefully see rise to about 57, 58. Nothing crazy. Uh, maybe ideally I would like 60, but I don't know how much of a rise you'll get on that. So I'm just trying to make a couple thousand points per card here, buying a few Joe Gomez. Uh, he had a really nice rise, um, you know, on Monday after squad battles. So let's see what happens with Joe Gomez. That's one of the cards that I do like for this week. Um, and another thing when you're buying, you know, Thursday flips, you always want to keep in mind of the current promo team that's in packs, but also the upcoming team of the week. So if you are somebody that is kind of cautious and wants to know, what is in team league first before i buy thursday flips you can do that you can wait till wednesday if you'd like um obviously you have to get undercuts on cards if cards do get inflated by wednesday 6 p.m but we're looking like we have a, a pretty good team of the week uh pogba zaha son muller malikovic sala quadrado tivenir trippier three right backs there i don't know if they'll do that but it's looking like a decent team of the week uh, which means that there is going to be some coins coming onto the market because people will be opening up their team week packs. So that's like a good sign. That's one of like the positives of going into this Thursday. If we do get a pretty good team of the week, people will open their team week packs, which is not always the case because team week has just been so outdated this year, uh, in my opinion, for Thursday rewards. 
and you also want to take a look at uh you know some of the team of the group stage cards making sure you're not buying anything that kind of coincides with these cards as well um so i'll be staying away from a few cards myself but joe gomez is one card that i like you know just for a i've seen him rebound this week in a market that has not been great i've seen him rebound so let's see what happens with him um low 50s on him on ps uh low 40s if you can get 40 and under on, on xbox whether it's wednesday whether it's thursday at rewards if you're gonna buy gold cards at rewards you're gonna want to buy within the first 15 minutes because after that they start to rise anyway uh so just be very very careful with that ali watkins for me is really good and i know zaha's getting a team of the week but two different total price points uh reason why i like watkins a lot is because he's my go-to guy uh he's english he's a striker he's got 90 pace 84 shooting uh he's got four star weak foot so he's kind of a card that i think people on a lower budget side would probably look at uh you know playing with uh he's currently 67 right now this guy goes to 69.5 most days so if you can find him in the low to mid 60s like you saw on my transfer list i like it because not only can you sell him for 69.5 for like 1.52k on uh on profit but if he rises maybe 3 4k on thursday well now you're making like 5k on that card so that's kind of like what i'm liking on this ollie watkins um we bought like 20 a couple weeks ago and we made about four to five k cards so that was a really nice profit on him i usually kind of go balls deep into a card per week last week he was pogba um the week before that was watkins and i did very well on that uh pogba's an interesting one because he is possibly getting into team of the week now the problem with buying pogba right now is he's actually up like 15k um actually he's up more than that he was like 125 he's now at 143 so say that he does not get into team of the week um you may see some investors sell this card off uh wednesday and if you wanna if you wanna buy then you might be able to depending on how bad the sell-off is on this card uh and same goes with a guy like um Actually, I'll buy that as well, just because, like, I already see him at 145. But, uh, you know, same thing with Sun, same thing with uh, some of the other, you know, guys that are possibly getting into Team of the Week. Look and see how big of the drop-off they do have if they don't get into Team of the Week. Um, so, you know, like I said, Pogba is somebody that, you know, is really only a couple pages at 145. You know, this only needs to go up another 5,000 coins for me to make, like, some pretty good profit. So, I'm down to do Pogba. Uh, I actually just got a lazy bidder on Ederson at 97. This Ederson is a really solid player for Thursday flips. Uh, and same thing with Courtois' inform as well. Uh, the reason why these guys do very well is because the links that they provide. Now, if you look at this, this is a lazy buyer, right? I'll buy this 90k. I'll go back in on this Ederson. Because again, this is a card that for me, um, you know, could very well easily hit 99.5 to 100. So if you get him at like low 90s on on ps i like that just for a little bit of profit there uh and courtois actually hit 154 multiple times on ps today uh if you guys can get around like the low 140s um that is something that i like as well um these are like rare cards right we talked about you know the last week about umakano right if you find umakano again let's say it like like low 170s and you just got to catch these guys on the low of their fluctuations as i get backed out of foot right there catch them on the low of their fluctuations all you need to do on these guys is literally go to their graphs uh and let's say we go um makano here as i'm doing the capture challenge right um all you need to do is pretty much you know look at his graph and see okay where is he at right now uh he hit a 184 earlier today uh he then tri uh went down to 175 so maybe when he hits that 175 you look for a little bit of an undercut there as well uh on xbox if you guys can get in the low 140s that for me is pretty good uh 130 is even better uh and you know just buying on the low of their fluctuation is very easy because you can quick flip them anyway but then you can lazy sell these cards for higher because you know that all they need to do is go up a couple more k and you're making even more profit uh than when you bought the car originally so that's why i like these out of pack in forms they're kind of safe to buy most of the time uh, another card that I would look at is Renato Sanchez. He didn't really do good last week, but there is North American qualifiers this week. And I do think a guy like this will go up uh, if the market does go up, obviously. Um, he was 210 all today, 207. If you guys can get in the low 200s, I would buy this. This is a little inflated right now, so I'd probably stay away for now. Uh, and then on Xbox, if you guys can find like 160-ish would be a pretty good price for me. 
uh, on Renato Sanchez. Uh, rounding out the gold card market, who are some of the goals I like? We talked about Joe Gomez, Marcial, Pogba. Um, another card that I like is Wijnaldum and uh, uh, Griezmann as well. Uh, the reason why I like those two golds is because they're very easy um, to just see a couple K rises in. And what you can do is you can buy these at rewards, by the way. You don't even have to buy them before in. If you find like a good undercard in these cards, then be my guess. Go buy, right? Especially if they have a hunter, they have a position change on them as well. They're going to be easier to sell for lazy buyers. Um, but what you want to look for a Griezmann is like 27, 28k on snipe. And then all you need for him to go to is like 33 and a half, 34. And you're making like four and a half a card. So I like the Wijnaldum. I like the Griezmann. Uh, just kind of for some lower budget flips. Maybe people are going lower budget because of the time of the year that we're in. So guys like Wijnaldum, guys like Griezmann, guys like, um, you know, Hazard, guys like Sterling. These type of cards may rise a decent amount this week because people are looking on a lower scale. They're not really going for the top tier icons, the top tier gold cards anymore. They're kind of holding off on buying those cards, which is what we've seen this week in terms of the sell-off. Record breaker Mbappe, right? Top tier icons like uh, Pele, Zidane, right? We've seen some huge drop-offs on those cards. But for these lower tier cards, we haven't seen as big of a drop off. So I think on Thursday of rewards, if you want to snipe underneath these cards, uh, be my guest. This would be something that I'm looking at uh, for sure. I'll buy that Wijnaldum there at 27 just because I like him with a shadow. Uh, and I'll flip him for 31, a couple thousand coins a card. But that's pretty much it when it comes to Thursday flipping. I'd probably stay away from icons uh, in particular. I'm going to go in on a lot of golds get them out before 6 p.m obviously that's where they i've been looking at graphs recently and they've been peaking there so get out of those goals by six in my opinion uh and yeah verner's another gold card that probably could rise a little bit as well uh and then some of the other team of the week cards just kind of going through the old team of the weeks right maybe looking uh let's say at you know inform lazana right I got another card that is easily able to uh flip because of the lazy buyer aspect to them but maybe getting his 83 card, right, for 55,000 coins, uh, for me, is pretty good, right? A right winger, uh, he gets a link to that new Immobile card. Now, obviously, Immobile is not from Napoli, but again, it's still a Serie A striker. Maybe people are doing the SBC. Uh, and he went to 59,000 coins today, uh, and, you know, he went down to 54.5. So these guys fluctuate, okay? So all you need to go and look at is pretty much their graph and just see where they've been over the day. And if you can find them for a little bit cheaper than where they've been, boom, you can buy them. And then you see if there's a little bit of a rise um, on Thursday after awards. Get on bids. Don't just neglect bids. Bids have been pretty good for me uh, over the last day or so in terms of trying to make some money on this game. Uh, so Lozano is another one for me. Both in forms are pretty good. Low 130s for him on PS. Probably like 130 would be ideal. Uh, same thing on Xbox. Um, and yeah, I would probably be looking at maybe a guy like Konate. Uh, that's another card for me. You know, Leipzig cards, French center backs, right? They have good nationalities. Langlais would be another gold card that I'd be taking an eye on as well. Another, like, French center back. Um, and, yeah, just be very careful with some of the other cards if they do. Uh, get, in, get some Team of the Week cards that influence them a little bit. Stay away, maybe. Um, you know, this Andre card could also do decent. Kamara could do decent as well. Uh, and it's actually looking like I might be able to pick this uh, Lozano up. Uh, if that's actually true, I just got a Lozano at 8k under the current price, which is showing you guys right on video that all you need to do to make some coins in this game right now is get on bids, okay? Because now look what happened. I've just made 6,000 coins on a Lozano that is currently at 58.5 and probably will sell at some point as I put them on my transfer targets. So get on bids on these cards, try to find little undercuts. Uh, like I said, with the gold cards, you can wait till uh, rewards. You can wait till loading screen on Wednesday to buy some of this stuff as well. But just be careful. Sell before 6 p.m. It's not a guarantee to go up, but I'm going to try it because you know what? We need to make coins and our coins are not just going to be able to sit there and collect interest. It needs to go up some way and we need to buy some stuff. So thank you guys for watching the video today. I appreciate it. Come subscribe if you're new around here and I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.